Last night, the Eau Claire School Board approved a plan to expand in-person learning for more elementary students. But there are several steps that need to be taken before welcoming more kids into the classroom. Katrina Lim tells us what those plans entail and how special education will need to adjust. Starting April 5, students in kindergarten through fifth grade all get to be in the classroom four days a week, but maintaining social distancing may not always be an option with the newly approved model. In a live interview with News 18 Thursday morning, Superintendent Michael Johnson said, We need to plan, uh, first of all, for their learning, but secondly, for their safety by potting students into small groups of three or four. Officials say although children will be physically close to their pod members, pods will ultimately help if quarantine is necessary. What the pods do is they allow us to maintain six feet of distance between these smaller students. The outcome of that is that should there be a positive case in the class, we would have fewer close contacts, which would translate into fewer exposures and fewer students quarantined from the classroom at any given point in time. At the elementary level, more than a thousand special education students have IEPs or individualized education plans. Many of those students will need new IEPs by April and preparing those comes with its own challenges like scheduling. It's kind of a, a giant puzzle to put together. There's certain times that a student in special education can be pulled out of the universal setting and instruction. We don't want them to miss anything that um, that they are intended to receive when in the general education class. So it's coordinating certainly with the gen ed teacher, putting together all of the related service providers. Although there are some concerns about being exposed to COVID, Van Vliet says many special ed teachers are excited to have kids back in class. Reporting for News 18, I'm Katrina Lim. Now first and second graders are already learning in person four days a week. Administrators say middle and high school students are not included in the plan because they risk higher exposure due to changing classes throughout the day.